everybody and welcome to today's video. We are gonna do a another unboxing. <laughs> so recently I just got an order from Lady Sloth, which is a really cool indie brand of Lolita. I really I already have one of their pieces. I have Tea Time at Grandma's, which I love and I would have been wearing if it wasn't wine and wine really. <laughs> It messes with the camera. It's like you're trying to wear wine on this channel. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've just filmed the 2013 video and I tried to put Holy Lantern up to the camera and I was like, nah. <laughs> so, yes, we are wearing not Lady Sloth, but we are going to be unboxing Lady Sloth because I got their very, very picnic dress. And yeah, this is the first print that I saw from Lady Sloth. I think I saw some girls wear it during one of Lady Sloth's fashion shows and I was just like, oh my god, excuse me, raspberries? Because I feel like there's not a lot of raspberry prints out there. And yeah, I'm like, AP, somebody, <laughs> you're missing a whole market. You're going to create like a thousand different strawberry dresses, but you're just going to sleep on raspberries it's free real estate <laughs> but yeah so I've I really love this dress I wanted the ivory but for some reason the ivory wasn't available I don't know if it sold out before I got there or just whatever I got my second favorite color which I thought I th was like navy but I think it's like a dark purple we'll see how it turns out <laughs> yeah I was kind of cord planning for this dress and then I kind of stopped cord planning for this dress. Like it became, the period of wait became so long I was just like, cause they announced that they were going to re-release it. I think sometime actually, <laughs> I think it was last year. So I've been like watching like a hawk ready for this drop of the print and it's finally here. <laughs> I feel like I just wasn't ready for it, but yeah, until somebody actually asked me on like Tumblr, like, hey, is this a good cord and use the, cause I'm getting my like first little address and it's very, very picnic. And I was just like, uh, eh? I'm like, wait, I have very, very picnic coming in the mail. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I just wasn't ready, but it's here now. So yeah, let's, let's get into this. Huzzah, oh man, maybe I should have gotten scissors. I was like, it's one of those things you could just tear it open. Oh, oh cool. there's bubble wrap in there. Oh, oh. let me add it. Let me add the dress. Okay, good. It's, it's not only it's in bubble wrap and it's in an envelope. Okay, very well protected. Let's get this little stuff. Oh, oh, oh. more stickers. Yes, just like Miss Danger Shop. I I got. Stickers, stickers, yeah. And this cute postcard. This is another one of their prints. I, ooh, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. It's pretty cute though. It's, it's pretty cute though. But yeah, another postcard. Oh, this, I think this is their like regular macaron series. Oh my God, I love that. I've been looking for more Lolita art lately, so I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lady Swap. Oh, oh yeah. They did a collab, I remember, with this. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I think it says Rioja. This artist. I don't know if the dress actually came out yet, but oh my god, like the art. The art? Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm like, art? Yes, please. All right, start off, I did get the, ooh, I read it was gonna be cotton. It's cotton, y'all. <laughs> I got this little beret brooch, this, <laughs> yeah, just so I would have an easier time quartering it. Yeah, it is a very, very dark purple. I'm seeing that now. And I don't have a lot of purple and lavenders in my wardrobe. But I feel like I'm getting a fair amount of like reds as well. So I was hoping to cord this with red. We are going to be doing a couple cords. Trying this bad boy on. Let's, oh, anything else in there? Nope. 
Here it is, y'all. Here's the dress. Oh, oh my god. The waist sack. See, yeah, there's this very deep red. I think this is like the sash. The waist around. But, oh my god. Yes, red. We can cord it with red, y'all. We'll be fine. Ooh, I think this is the, the chest ribbon. Little, little bow, little bow, and it's detachable, which we love. Oh my God, look at that shirring. AP could never. <laughs> I'm just gonna be salty at AP for a while, y'all. It's fine. AP knows I got their back. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can attach this bow in a timely manner. And then we'll stand up, you can get the full effect, and then we'll go change. It's a whole plan, y'all. Come on. <laughs> I, I'm bad at, like, just, you know, basic tasks. It's, it's fine. We can do it. Yeah, chest ribbon, it's on, y'all. It's on. <laughs> A little high, I might want to actually lower it later, but <laughs> for now at least, you can kind of get some of the effect, but yeah, I definitely want to lower that later. <laughs> too high for the bow, too high. All right, let's kind of get the full effect of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's definitely different kind of from Tea Time with Grandma's. Ooh, yeah. Tea Time at Grandma's is polyester, and it has like, this underskirt part for Tea Time at Grandma's is just so, so heavy. It kind of just like, weighs the entire dress down a bit, so it is a little like the petticoat. I kind of gotta be wearing the, the monster poop kind of petty for Tea Time at Grandma's, but I think this, this is gonna be nice. Nice and light and breezy. It's got a pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get a close up of the front real quick. See? Like there's blueberries, there's raspberries, there's strawberries, there's just a whole berry picnic. But yeah, I think raspberries are kind of like the main focus. They are the big fruit. <laughs> yeah, raspberries and blackberries and just all the berries. I'm like, oh my god, so many berries. Berries. But yeah, so we are going to be trying this on. I want to try to cord it a few different ways, so it might not all work out. But I want to try to cord this a few different ways, so <laughs> so I can make sure I can actually cord it at all. But yeah, oh my god. All right, gal, let's let's get into those cords. And here we are back in our first look. So. This is kind of like the standard. I just have a little, little red beret. I got the bow in. Got the sash. <laughs> These red scarves are from Etsy. They're from a shop. I don't think it's still available, but they're technically navy, actually. But I don't know if you can tell <laughs> on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep my switching to a minimum because my first impressions are like, oh god, this is <laughs> this is low cut. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just feel very uncomfortable in this area right now, so I'm not sure. Like, it looks fine. I just, I'm not, a, I'm not a low cut kind of gal. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think I have any short sleeve OPs, and I think AP has has like kind of short sleeve OPs in the style, but I feel like a lot of the times AP at least does long sleeve OPs, and those are all the ones I have. Well, actually, I think Dream Marine is short sleeve, but it's, it's covering up the same. <laughs> but I think like the style of OP it kind of reminds me of is like the Sugary Carnival, but Sugary Carnival I think has those like kind of straps, so it like kind of covers things. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of the first look. I, I love how it feels though. It's very comfortable. It's just... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the chest area, so I think in the second look, I'm going to try and see if we can maybe <laughs> do something not like this. I might get like a red cardigan, I feel like, to kind of put more of some reds in there and like, you know, 
cover of this this whole situation. I there's also I could put a long sleeve blouse under it, which I might try for one of the looks just to see how it kind of goes. Cause you can do that with OPs, but I I have not I don't since I haven't had any short sleeve OPs really. I haven't actually been able to test out that. It was a trend for a while. But yeah, I, I do love the the first look. <laughs> no, I, I like I like what's going on. And you can't tell because you can't see my leg, but I'm wearing a honey cake or socks. <laughs> so yes, I, this is the first look. Love, love, this is AP Beret. It's the kind of opposite of my pink one. And I also have a bear beret. So I might try to bring more bear elements into it. Because my BB and B necklace is a little bear. I will show a close up of that <laughs> on its own. But yes, on to the next look. <laughs> I think I shoehorned in a little bit too much white for this one. All right, this is look two, which I, I the plan was to cover up this chest area with the overdress, which. I feel like it kind of covers up a little bit too much of the print. It's a little bit too fancy kind of for what I was going for. I don't know. With it, looked, with it not tied, it doesn't look too bad, I think, actually. But, yeah, this is my beekeeper veil from Lily of the Valley. I definitely want to get, a like, an actual, like, wicker boater hat for this, like, for this dress specifically to go with it because Lily of the Valley has some really good eyes. She also has a berry brooch, which I, I, I need. <laughs> I just need more Lily of the Valley <laughs> accessories. But yes, here's the second look. I I don't think it's I don't think it's that bad. It just doesn't cover the chest area, which is <laughs> this is what I was wanting. But with the third look, I think I'm going to Oh god. <laughs> With the third look, I think I'm going to see how a long sleeve blouse pairs underneath this dress. But yes, <laughs> it's it's kind of fancy. It's a little bit more fancy than I was expecting, but I do kind of like it. Yeah, there is no white in the print. I kind of just shoehorned that in a little bit. <laughs> Oops, you know, it's it's fine as long as the colors match together. Stop swirling, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> But yes, I think we should do look three. Let's get that going. And here is our third and final look. I definitely feel, <laughs> I at least feel a little more comfortable with the blouse on. I I don't know how good it looks. I feel like I, I like, I like this look a lot better. I'm wearing my AP uh, Bear Ear Beret, which is... Kind of like the other one I had, except this one has bear ears. So we're working with the bears a lot more, <laughs> even though there's no bears in this print. And I have my AP kind of made headdress with that. Still wearing the, the BB and B bear necklace. And yeah, I just, <laughs> I at least feel a little bit more comfortable in this one. But yeah, here it is y'all. I, I never really got into that whole like OP under or blouse under OP thing, but I don't, I don't know. I think it's I think it's kind of working, guys. It might be working. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> like, which is your favorite of the cords? And yeah, <laughs> if you bought this dress, I am very curious about whether or not you like it. It's a, it's a little bit like, I feel like it, obviously this one's going in the closet. I don't think it fits with the rest of my kind of style. So I, but I've, I've always loved this dress and I'm so happy to own it now. But yeah, thank you all for joining me once again. I really appreciate you all coming out for another video. If you like my video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. All of that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video, which will probably be that 2013 video. I've been doing finger guns a lot lately. I don't know why. We are going back to finger guns. Love y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye.